This is 7 cent thermal paste. And you better bet we're about to go buy this. Not only that, but we found it on everyone's favorite website, AliExpress, and in order to thoroughly, positively test such great thermal paste, we're going to have to go through and put it up against the reigning champion of thermal paste, toothpaste. Toothpaste is wonderful if you're broke, and really the only difference between toothpaste and this is that toothpaste is out of the tube, and this you gotta put more in to buy. I think we really can make do with toothpaste, but we gotta see how well that works. So let's go through and buy this sucker. And I just want to point out, do the usual look over the ad and really question life as usual. So let's just go through and get this. Wonderful, wonderful. We're going to have to shop $37 just to get ourselves hands on one. Now, in this case, for me, I'm going to have 500 That way I can give those away to people that I really don't like. So, just you just have something you don't like. Hey man, how's it going? Here, here, take, take, some, take some bags of thermal paste. Watch them run away. Don't have to worry about people you don't like. Just give them one of those. They'll be gone. And uh, let's just come over here real quick. And let's just take a look. We have a bag. I hope this is not like a Ziploc bag of thermal paste. Oh boy, that'd be heck to package and get shipped. Yeah, they just put it down on your doorstep. Oh, oh God, that's just such a bad image in my head. Um, okay, let's just continue on here real quick. We've got some operational temperatures. Depending on your processor brand, uh, you may consider wanting to be cautious of this, especially if you're not on 14 nan if you're not on 7 nanometers already. You may want to consider uh, just consider that one. Um, there's a big problem with that. I'm joking, but still, you know what? That's intended. That and uh, items here. We've got ourselves three different models. I think this is the one that we're getting. Uh, yes. Yes, okay. So that's the one we're getting. Let's see, we've got gray. Okay, I would hope it's gray or some color similar to thermal paste. Gold maybe, metallic. Thermal conductivity is pretty far off from the rest one, the rest of them, so that means we're going to be doing pretty good. And the thermal impedance is almost double. Um, great, great. Uh, gravity. Grams per centimeter cubed. So likely that means that's the uh, density... Let's just go on farther. We have viscosity, and luckily it stays the same. I mean, and thorough, thorough tropic, thyxotropic index. I have no idea what that is. Someone can comment down below and show me up on that. Um, operational temperature. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is such a bad image. Uh, just send this to your friends, guys. Just, just, just comment. You know, tell your friend on Discord. Hey, buddy, you should totally just. Send him this picture. Make this like an image or something on Discord. Just send it to him. That, that, that's that's already a horror story right there. By the way, if you're not on my Discord server, you should totally join. It's in the description. It's all tech related. Anyway, we should... um. Sorry for that quick plug. And let's just go through and buy this. And this dude does not look like happy that he's actually getting you this. Oh boy, he's going to be like, why did you make me buy... Why did you make me ship you guys and bring you up to your doorstep 500 little bags of thermal paste? Also, can we make a comment? These bags... Just real quick, look like the little salt packets. I mean, the ones you, you put all over your food, right? And, you know, you don't want to necessarily put this all over your food. I mean, I could understand the argument that you don't want your parents thinking that you have syringes that, you know, they look like, you know, drugs. Obviously, they're not. They're thermal paste. And they don't want that, so you just have a little quick, convenient bag that you can sip out of when you're bored. Also, would not recommend thermal paste is highly poisonous, but you get the idea. So, let's see. Toothpaste? or seven cent thermal paste? That's the big question today. Let's find out. It's finally arrived. Uh, I actually just got one out. They were kind of like in a bag and they kind of went everywhere. So I just took one. Yeah. Got toothpaste. Y'all love toothpaste. Use it on your teeth, right? Well, there's that. And we've got the seven cent thermal paste. So in order for this to be a proper test, we're going to have to go through and do a couple things. First off, we're going to need to get our test system and basically just test it with stock thermal paste just to get a baseline. Next, we test it with our lovely um, <laughs> 7 cent thermal compound. And finally, we test it with the toothpaste to see really what is the reigning champion. And you know, I find it funny because we're, we're going back to the start of this channel when we used to do that. We used to test thermal paste and, or toothpaste with thermal paste and see how it goes. Oh, on a side note, I've cleaned out all my, um, I've cleaned it all out. It's all, it's all clean back here now. There's just stuff that I actually have. So you have organized things. Things are now organized. Y'all get to 
still crack jokes about how much hardware I have. And um, no, this stuff's actually set aside. These are donations for people have sent in for other people that don't have computers. That's what these are for. These are set aside for. So yes, I might be using the motherboard that's supposed to be for donations for a, a, like a video, a single video. But it's it's going the end the end place is going in like I think next week or the week after this video is a very good place. So you got to watch that. But no, um, this is this is not technically my hardware. This is stuff people have donated, and I intend to follow through with that. So what else? A graphics card. What kind of graphics card do we want to throw in this? I'm not going to use anything nice. Get something out of the, the drawer. We could use, yeah, here's a quadro. Use this. Use this. I'm not using the GPUs or anything like that. Nice ones, at least. Because those are not supposed to be damaged. As you can tell, I need to get the rail going so I can just slide this back and forth. Okay, so we've got a graphics card, a test system. I have another one back here, that's mine. And let's get this going and see if we can get this working first, because I don't even, haven't even tested this yet. And then after that, we'll go through and test the thermal paste. Okay, so starting off, a couple things to point out. Right now I have the CPU benchmark on OCCT running. This is actually a piece of software that was recommended from a friend a couple years ago, I've been using it. Um, as you can see, we've got the CPU pinned almost at 100%. We've got ourselves the, um, you can see the frequency is boosted up. And most importantly is the temperature. So the temperature is what we're going to be keeping an eye on throughout this entire video because right now we're just using the stock which is already on there. And uh, my friend Just Potato actually sent this over for us to be using. And then I will be later on, as promised, giving it away to somebody that really does need a PC, which I do have someone in mind. So that will be a future video. Uh, but as you can see, temperature's peaking up there and we're just going to see the temperature it gets up to. And based off of that, we'll go through and we'll do some more testing based off of the different items and stuff and test the thermal paste. Now, on today's episode of You Thought the Verge Was Bad, we've got to figure out how to get this onto the CPU. So, let's go through and take our wonderful, wonderful bit of thermal paste, crack this bad boy open, and I'll give you guys a close-up view of this application. How does this, how do I even do this? Do I just like squeeze it out? Oh my gosh. That can't be healthy. <laughs> what the heck is this? Dude, that looks nasty. Oh my goodness. I mean, you get what you pay for, but still. Oh my goodness. <laughs> why, why did it come out so, like, not like thermal paste? That's where the problem is. What do you know? We're already running at temperatures of 40 degrees. I think we were at, like, 35 or something the last time. Let's start those babes up and see how hot we get. So at this point, I think it starts needing some narration. So in case you can't tell, this would be the moment I would say everything started rapidly speeding downhill. So the benchmark was running. I was kind of like on my phone, not really paying much attention. And then <laughs> it uh, froze up and I was like, okay, well it froze up. So my thought was it might be something to do with the CPU cooler. Maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe it was having issues conducting the heat maybe it was just like it was odd though because it was already it was slowly going up the temp so the thermal paste was obviously working and then all of a sudden it just decided that no and actually my theory is uh, i think the thermal paste got started getting hot and then therefore you know a little bit more uh, liquid like so i think this is the point in which it ran into the, the cpu or something um and then after this this is like my, my trouble shooting shooting phase and a lot of you guys like in the past videos have been like, well, you know, you didn't try this, or you didn't try that. And, or, you know, you didn't even try to troubleshoot. And this would be the moment where I would probably turn on this computer multiple times and sat there for a good bit, trying to figure out what was actually wrong with the display, banging on the keyboard, all this stuff. I was just trying to figure out like what was wrong. And it, it, it there, there really wasn't anything. Uh, this probably actually have like another th three, you know, like five minutes worth of this clip of me trying to fool around with this. So save you guys that, but yeah, this is where things went downhill. 
like the keyboard isn't even lighting up. You know, I, I don't want to say I think it ran into the socket and it happens to be conductive. Like, but that's what it looks like. Okay. So I swear something goes wrong every video, but just saying it how it is, it's shut off in the middle of the test and now it's not even turning on. Like, I don't, I'm not familiar with this hardware. I don't know, like, what's, it, it could be a lot of things. But, thermal paste should not do that. So, I'm probably going to try fooling around with it for, like, another couple of minutes, and then I'm going to try seeing what happened, if something ran into the socket or something. Let me just pick up the entire camera. I apologize, this is literally on top of a freaking tripod. So, I bear with me. But... See you guys can zoom in, how well you guys can zoom in and see this. So as you can clearly see, we've got, I'm gonna put this like right on top. This poor tripod I am holding with one hand as I am trying to focus the camera. So as you can see, you have a little bit of dust it looks like in this corner right here. And then you've got some thermal paste that ran in there and there. Now I can't really tell how much of this is because of the paste that was there before there, but I do know I took this off. There was no pins, stuff in the pins. Uh, so it looks like some of the paste actually ran over into and maybe got caught in there when I put it down. So, we'll see. Okay, so I took all the thermal paste and pulled this all out. Um, right now I have my multimeter set to resistance. And I go, everyone's going to be in the comments going, well, resistance, why? Well, you know, usually when you put something that's not conductive at all, you kind of get no results. And when you put it in some of this thermal paste, you get no results. But other times, let's see if I can let's out, let's get this out of the way a little bit. So it's like, sometimes when you put it in there, you get a little bit of conductant. Now, obviously, this is resistance, and this probably has a very high resistance because I turn this to the, or the uh, continuity option. I don't think I get any continuity, and obviously when you connect them together, you get the beep. But like, you don't get any continuity, but when you switch it back to resistance, I just got this all over this stuff, this crap too. Sometimes, let me just make sure you guys can see that I'm not lining them up. Sometimes you'll get some resistance in the paste. So, I mean, why am I getting resi like? resistance like no nothing in the cardboard but in the thermal paste I'm getting some type of current and I mean obviously resistance but still there should be no conductivity in this for this reason because in order for there to be resistance there has to be some type of electricity flow and obviously when you switch it back you're not going to get it's not like super conductive I guess is the right word um, but it's conductive at some level. Okay, so let's talk about a few things. First off, there's a lot that could be wrong here, and I don't wanna necessarily point fingers at the thermal paste. First off, it's hard to determine whether or not the CPU itself was fried because of the, or I don't know if the CPU or the system is fried or why it's not booting. Um, it's, it's hard to tell. This, this hardware is old and it was donated by somebody, so I, I don't know like the past experience with this hardware as much, so it's hard to tell that much. I do know that we are getting some electricity passing through this thermal paste, which could be another sign. We do know that thermal paste did somehow get on the socket. You guys saw my thermal paste application. There was no issue there. Um, so it, it's, it's more likely a combination of things that it, I, I would appreciate your comments and your input down below. Obviously, good quality thermal paste will not be conductive. Um, this is possible. There was a puncture in the, the thermal paste. Maybe some type of, I don't know, water got in there. Something like that that kind of made it conductive. Maybe there were some impurities. Uh, maybe the way it was packaged. Maybe for sat so long, the water kind of leaked out into certain areas. Because sometimes when you put it in, it, in some areas, it, it's better. I, it, it's, it's hard to tell what could be the actual issue here. Now... As for the hardware, I, I still can't get it to boot. 
and I can't really pinpoint if that was the issue or not. Um, I've cleaned out the socket. It's still having issues. I've been trying to boot this. So disappointingly, I'm, 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 this will be one that will have to be a work in progress. And that's why this probably will have a question mark. You know, I bought the world's cheapest thermal paste and, did it, and it fried my computer with a question mark because uh, I, I, I can't really say that with confidence. Like, I mean, with the Wish graphics card, not the Wish graphics card. Yeah, it was the Wish graphics card. The one that fried my computer, that sucker has, still has problems to this day. Um, I've got it pretty much rigged so that my dad can use it for BitTorrent and stuff. But it's the motherboard. There's a lot of problems with it. And I've had to, you know, work around those so that it at least gets some use. Uh, I just don't like seeing hardware go to the trash. But it definitely was damaged and partly fried. And the CPU is toast so that I use. So it's kind of, that I can say with confidence, yeah, that was the graphics card. This, I, I it's hard to tell. The thermal paste is, you know, there's a problem with the thermal paste. Yes, it has some type of conductivity in it. Shouldn't have any. Yes, there is thermal paste on the socket. But whether or not that is a grounding pin or something like that, it, it's hard to tell. Uh, so it's really, really, you know, difficult to pinpoint the exact issue. Now, will I say that you should buy this thermal paste? No, this stuff, it, it, it got everywhere and it was really, really like difficult to put on. Buy some nice thermal paste. Did I want to do a finish this video out and try the toothpaste? Yeah, that was actually my original plan of this video. I wanted to go through and do a, a, a toothpaste and stuff and I can't even get the system to boot. So it's, it's hard to tell. And as I said, before I start pointing fingers, I'm just going to say that it's it's difficult to point out an exact cause and therefore I, I can't really say with conclusion that this thermal paste caused that issue. That's why I'll have a question mark. But do I definitely think that there was, do I think there is a combination of issues that could have happened in shipping and all that stuff? Yes, likely. It's just really hard to tell what is the actual problem here and the cause of it. Uh, so that has been this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe if you're into that kind of stuff, and we'll be doing some more of these up, 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 up for the upcoming videos. I think we have a drone, like a $1,500 drone that I bought for like $40 off of Wish. That will be fun. It's a film drone. And then also we have a $25 gaming PC USB stick that's supposed to be a gaming PC and a USB stick that's also in the mail for an upcoming future video. So if you're interested in those, make sure you check those out when they come out and subscribe for that. But if not, have a wonderful day and I hope to see you around in another video of, I guess, Scam Busters.